keep the door open. Daily Zender, two, two, one. Just hanging out with the peeps. Good day. Good day. Oh, I'm still waking up. Just like, but mom and dad, I got still sleepy eyes. I want to put the groceries away. Hi, lovey. Come on. Let's go out, puppy. Oh, puppy. Come on, puppy. I know you're still getting used to your legs. Still getting used to your legs. <laughs> Side note, Jack's won his second fight for the day. Yep. Taking down and essentially tapping out a little chihuahua. Did not see it, but it was told by Papa Bear. Papa Bear was extremely proud. Yes, sir. Extremely sure. proud. Oh, what is this? There's a pea. Beautiful sunny day in Omaha, Nebraska. Loving the Midwest vibes. Midwest vibes. Jax, what do you have to say today? Say, I know you're young. Oh, you're a cute dog. Loving kiss from a loving father. Oh. <laughs> are you sitting in your pee again? Like, are you like did you pee there and you sat down? <laughs> That's what it sounds like pee all the time. He'll learn. He'll learn. <laughs> Let's go to the back and see if you can poop. Huh? Good happy dog, though. There's never a moment where you'll never not smiling at a puppy. Yeah. He'll learn how to listen. Soon enough. Z Nation back at it at the airport. Just to say goodbye to my friends and on with the rest of my travel days. Awesome two days in Omaha, Nebraska. Weather was stellar. Sunny the entire time and probably in the mid 70s or so. So very nice day, very happy. Nice, relaxing Monday, Memorial Day. Very appreciative again of any servicemen and women who have served for our country, the US. But yes, very relaxing Monday morning, playing with the pup, just essentially enjoying each other's company with my friends, then going to a restaurant, going grocery shopping, playing with the pup again, and uh, off to the airport. So I can't thank my friends enough. Great hospitality, good time seeing the Midwest being Omaha. Yesterday, um, obviously Omaha borders Nebraska and Iowa, and I went on a pedestrian bridge that has the borderline of Omaha and Iowa, so, or Nebraska and Iowa, so I went in Iowa yesterday too. But yeah, I'll do a little video when I upload some of this previous footage so I don't have as much memory taken up on my phone to go into detail, just like some places I went. I didn't really, I didn't take any pictures or anything like that or much video footage other than what I did up until that podcast yesterday, and that's uh, A-OK. -okay. Just enjoyed each other's company the entire time, so keep you up to date and I'll let you know how things are going. Also started my class yesterday with an upload of a two-minute video on why I want to do the Life Accelerator program for London Real, and got comments back, and then also commented on other of my classmates' videos, so that's cool and exciting, and going from there, so I'll check in with you a little bit later. Peace. So, oh, what? Daily Xander coming from you, coming from the bathroom of Z. Okay. Flying right now from Omaha to Dallas. So I'll check in with you a little bit later. Z Nation, back at it, just arrived in Dallas, as you can see. Been in Starport several times in the past three or four months and a year also. Getting quite used to it. Haven't seen much of it though because it's a giant airport. I have been in the international and I've been in the domestic, both terminals. And right now, my next flight, I'm going off to Charlotte. I do need to do a little video recap of just the happenings I got to during my time in Omaha. Really neat city. Again, like I said, I haven't been to the Midwest in a while, a couple years, and it's certainly much different to go back to the Midwest after going to the places I've been to so far, and you can definitely tell a difference in uh, the mindset and the people, great people, very friendly and such, but uh, I will certainly be doing a little couple minute recap of the items and activities I got up to keep you up to date with that and I'm not going to be missing any of my connection flights today.
as I work tomorrow morning in a brand new facility, new gym. So that'll be pretty dope, and I'll show you the outside of it tomorrow too on my way to work. So check in with you a little bit later and hope everything is going well with you. Peace! Z Nation back at it. Landed in Charlotte. Been in Charlotte for about the past 20, 30 minutes. Took some time to find a good place to charge up my phone and my iPad, which is right below me. Charging port right there. Check out this spot. You would not even be able to tell that I'm currently in the airport, but I am. I'm on the second level right now of the airport in Charlotte. Domestic terminal, A, B, C's, and D's. And uh, yep, just charging my phone. And actually, turns out my flight from Charlotte to Orlando got delayed about an extra hour and a half. So I'll be getting to Orlando around 1.15 in the morning. But hey, okay, at least I'll get into Orlando. And then right when I get to the airport, I'm gonna grab my luggage and then head right home, get a little sleep, head off to work, and that's how you do it. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing work required for my London Real Life Accelerator class. And so far I'm just filling out a questionnaire on different aspects, being goals, challenges for yourself, mindset, how you've been lately, and I need to upload a video on three things I'm grateful for. And then also need to do a video on meditation and start practicing meditation practice for this week. Though tomorrow I'm doing another float, so that'll count as meditation. Staying busy, I need to upload my daily Xanders. Yeah, feeling good. Just been hydrating. Giant, giant breakfast meal I had at this place called, I want to say it was Westfield. It's a local, regional place of Omaha, Nebraska, and a couple other parts of the Midwest. Very good breakfast. The bakery has a huge selection of Midwestern. C Nation back at it. Last update for the night, 221, Daily Xander. I'm hanging out at the Charlotte Airport. My flight has been continually delayed, so right now it's as scheduled to leave at 12.30 in the morning on Tuesday, originally, originally scheduled for around, I think like a 10.45 flight in the, at night on a Monday, but I'm happy regardless. It'd be nice if I'm able to uh, fly out this morning so I can get into Orlando, even if it's fairly late, so I can get to work by 8 in the morning. That's the life I live right now, so it's A-OK. -okay. Make it happen, and I enjoy the struggle because it'll all pay off, and it makes me a more humble individual when things go much smoother, of course. What I've been doing, though, throughout my time at the Charlotte Airport, it's been working on my survey questions for the class that I just started with London Real, commenting and watching a couple of other classmates' videos for that, and having them just do an introduction, listening to their introduction, telling them about themselves, why they want to do the class, biggest challenge is the 2017 forum and being vulnerable that's what it's all about I've already done my introduction I need to do another video for that class on three things you're grateful for it's one of the things that we're gonna be practicing this week is affirmations being grateful and then on top of that meditation meditate twice a day for 10 minutes each time so I'm gonna be doing that starting tomorrow on top of a float so going from there but anyways, just want to let you know I'm doing good as always, positive as always, productive as always, and I hope you enjoyed that first podcast I did, that video podcast. I'm planning on doing many more come my Europe trip and even in the future, just hanging out with somebody and having a genuine conversation with them and seeing where it leads. So on that note, I'll bid you adieu. I hope you're doing wonderful, and as always, peace, love, unity, and respect catch you in. next installment peace what is up guys i hope everybody is doing awesome just a quick update i'm right now in the charlotte airport in the u.s and i'm just waiting for my flight to get back to orlando and i wanted to do my three items that i am grateful for this past weekend i met up with a friend who i haven't seen in a couple years and hung out with him most of the week and 
and had a good time. So the first thing I'd be grateful for is just friendship and knowing I have friends in different parts of both the U.S. and other parts of the world that I can hang out with and have the opportunity to visit them and essentially have like a tour guide in that city to learn more about the area. The second thing I'm grateful for would be, of course, my own freedom and opportunity to be able to make choices that allow me to travel. I'm a big traveler and I just love having the opportunity to travel and I know there's many people out there that necessarily don't have that opportunity to travel. Last one for now, I'm grateful for having loving parents. I have been away from where I'm originally from, Alaska, for about the past five years and I've been living on my own for about the past five years and I haven't seen my mom or dad in over a year and a half now but I have an established relationship with them where I FaceTime them at least once a week I would say about go every other two weeks sometimes but for the most part I like to stay in at least somewhat constant communication not like everyday kind of thing but I always make sure I maintain a decent communication a loving relationship from being so far away so those are my three items first one friendship second one my own independent opportunity freedom to have travel and third one being my loving parents so again hopefully hope you all are having an awesome day and i'll check in with you later peace